Hey friends, welcome back to Putting Up the Pom Poms. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair. From the way we style and care as well as giving you hairstyle inspiration that is quick and easy to achieve with minimum effort. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to catch our weekly videos every Saturday and Sunday. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend. It's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video. So if you are new to our channel, again, welcome and meet my oldest daughter, Kalia, representing her curly type three hair with a mix of 4A. So here she is freshly washed and we are getting into her protective style for the next week or two. So I'm starting off by putting her hair straight down the middle. Working in sections is always best, especially for this thick curly hair, okay? It can be very overwhelming. And a lot of times I look at it and I just be like, God, uh, where do I even begin? So I'm starting off by sectioning her hair off into small sections using my favorite conditioning gel of all time, the Shine Effects by Edge Effect. And I'm cleaning up the part because we love nice clean parts using a, a parting comb. Going in with the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is what I'll be using as my, pretty much my leave-in conditioner. And I was debating back and forth whether or not I wanted to go in with a heavy cream or to go in with a foam and since I wanted more of a juicy lightweight twist I felt like the foam would have gave me the perfect look for that so I rubber band off the section that I am planning to twist together add in a couple of pumps of my all about curls boosting foam I've been using this foam for quite a while now I originally introduced it to Callista my youngest daughter who has fine curls and heavy cream just does not work best for her hair she definitely is a foams, lightweight, light leave-in conditioner type of girl. But since I wanted these juicy twists for Kalia, I tried out the foam on her hair and surprisingly, I was very shocked on how well the foam worked on her hair especially since I didn't use a heavy cream like I usually do when it comes to styling her twist and her braid outs. So we're just gonna continue that process of parting off small sections. I'm rubber banding it because that kind of helps with the longevity of the twist. You won't have that frizziness at the roots of the twist with the rubber band kind of holding everything together. Going in with the Design Essentials Moisturizing Lotion and then going right behind it after I've detangled everything with the All About Curls Boosting Foam. And I go in with anywhere from two to three pumps depending on the thickness of the section. All right, so this is after completing half of her head and those twists look adorable. They're nice and juicy and lightweight. They're not weighed down from using a cream. I really love this foam on her hair. And now I feel like I need to try it out again with doing a twist out because now I want to see what the results are going to look like. Unfortunately, I only left her hair in these twists and when I did get around to taking it out for her to wear it as a twist out, I think she went swimming and it just messed the whole ordeal up. So now I'm getting into the front section of her head and I wanted to do those 90s inspired flat twists. Now I've gone to Instagram to ask whether or not they're called flat twists or what was the name that we had for these back in the 90s. I used to get them all the time, but Lord, I cannot remember the name of them. Somebody called them twisties i call them flat twists because i mean you're twisting the hair and it's flat to the head but we all know as a natural community that flat twists can also mean those two strand twists that you do on your hair as well so I guess this is like another rendition of flat twists, but you're not doing the two strands. But this is fairly easy, especially if you are not keen to the two strand flat twists. You don't have to worry about um, the two different strands, rotating them around to make sure you get a nice and neat twist, even though I find those fairly easy for myself. For this time, I just decided to go in with a regular flat twist, the 90s inspired flat twist. Make sure you go in with a lot of gel though, because you don't want those twists to start getting 
and puffy um, especially if you are doing this on curly natural hair so I do have to kind of like do it a little tight just to make sure it does not unravel as I'm putting that ponytail in and then I do a regular juicy twist at the end so it can blend in with the rest of the twists in the back of the head using the same products at the all about curls boosting foam and the design essentials daily moisturizing lotion Now that all her twists are done, I'm going in with the all-time favorite Black Seed Baby Grow and Glow Hair Oil. Oh my gosh, love this oil. Of course, you can check out all the products mentioned in this video. The link is provided down below in the description box. You can shop our entire Amazon storefront where we feature all of our favorite products and hair tools. And that is it for her hair. This style lasted her a week and a half. It probably could have gone a little bit longer, but again, she went swimming, so yeah, I had to wash it out. But I really loved how low maintenance this style was. And low maintenance styles are always my best. Best friend so thank you guys for joining us in another video don't forget to check out our many other tutorials on kids natural hair care we will see y'all on another one